Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Going to do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2004 Vermeer RT450 trencher that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions, I'll get up close to everything, show you everything I see, talk about everything I know. Then of course we'll start it up, run it through its paces, let you hear the engine, show you that the hydraulics are nice and strong, show you the blade and the backhoe and everything. As always, if you are in the market for a used trencher, a used piece of construction, or a used piece of farm equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for equipment find our videos and find our equipment, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 2004 Vermeer RT450. As you can see, O-ROPS, four-wheel drive. It is four-wheel steer. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Hydro transmission six inch blade sorry chain six way blade pre-emissions Deutz diesel engine cranks up good as you can see here the yellow paint is very bright the blade is nice and straight as you can see here a couple small little dents there's one little one right there a little bit of one right there but the, the blade is pretty dug on straight like I said, yellow paint's nice and bright. Tires are good all the way around. As you can see, the rims are pretty good. They've got a little bit of spot, a couple spots where the paint's bubbling just a little bit, little few scratches here and there, but very good all around. Like I said, nice and bright yellow paint. The fenders are nice here, nice and straight. I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere back here or on the backhoe or on the back of the blade. As you can see, most of these carbide teeth are in pretty darn good shape. Definitely life left there. That front idler looks to be in pretty good shape get down here and look at the sprocket the drive sprocket down here the drive sprocket definitely is a little war there's a little life left but there you can see it's definitely got some wear in it that sprocket's gonna need replaced sooner than later again this side everything looks pretty good I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere nothing out of the ordinary I think it's good back here that auger's in good shape Again, this rear tire, like I said, all four tires are really good. The rim's pretty doggone good. This rear fender's in good shape. Again, that front tire, good. Rim's in good shape. This side of the hood is also really good. Paint's nice and bright. Seat's really good on the backhoe. You got a control for your blade your outriggers and your backhoe controls buckets in good shape that middle tooth is broken off as you see there it looks like it's been like that for a long time that's how it comes back in there all right we'll take a look here at the side of the block look at the engine I don't know how well you can see in here but it is nice and dry side of the block is not I don't see any diesel or oil running down the side of the block. I'll have to turn the camera a little sideways here so you can... I'll take a look at the other side. As you can see here, nice and dry in there. Pretty doggone clean. We'll look at the operator station this side's good still has quite a bit of the tread tape there the seat overall is in pretty darn good shape there's a little bit of a tear right there a little bit of one right there on the back cushion and a little bit of one right there 
other than that seats in good shape like i said that fender's in good shape your hydro pedal's in good shape your controls this runs your blade like we said six-way blade this controls your rear wheels for steering so it is four wheel steer your front ones go on the steering wheel these are on a hydraulic cylinder to to spin them one way or the other for your rear as you can see that hood's nice there everything's good up here Let's see if i can get close enough to the hour meter for you Like I said, it's a 2004 RT450, 2,640 hours. The description will be down below. Our website's down below in the description as well. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'll try to answer anything we can. We'll fire it up and get right into an operational video.